Welcome to another of my conquest guides. Today I'll be going over the Sectify feat Brotherly Love which requires us to gain Inspired 40 times. Please note the strategy I'm showcasing requires nodes that have characters with no AoEs. For my battles I used a Tuscan node. I believe you can get a Phoenix node without Sabine. I didn't come across one but should be a suitable alternative. So this strategy centers on using a thick or dodgy character, I'll touch upon that shortly, to soak up the hits, allowing Poe and Finn to knock out their inspired uninterrupted. I originally intended for Five to receive what shield tech and voluntary vanguard, and with deadly catalyst and ruthless swiftness equipped, he'd counter, trigger the latter, and feed Poe and Finn turn meter. I removed Fives' mods, just to lower his offense so he wouldn't kill off anyone, and Hermit Yoda ended up getting Voluntary Vanguard, and to my surprise was dodging almost every attack even though he wasn't under stealth. I'm guessing there's an unintended interaction between Voluntary Vanguard and the stealth he gains at the start of the battle from his unique, but I'm not entirely sure. After seeing this, I subbed Fives for Jedi Training Ray for the added resistance synergy, although really, you should be able to plug in any character as your fifth. If you don't have Voluntary Vanguard, you can use Fives or any other thick tank such as Crew with Watt's shield tech to take the hits. For data discs, I highly recommend as many Ruthless Swiftness as you have, and if using a character that counters any discs that recover health or protection when attacking out of turn. I did have Deadly Catalyst equipped so Fives could trigger Ruthless Swiftness on his first counter, however this probably isn't needed if giving Finn Watt's weapon tech as he'll be generating quite a bit of turn meter through that. So that pretty much wraps up this video, if you have any questions or suggestions ask below or find me on Discord, till the next video.